welcome to bsp solution our today's topic of learning is a proportionate consolidated consolidation method for financial consolidation process so under a proportional consolidation method of accounting takes into account the income expenses assets and liabilities in proportion to a firm's percentage of participation in a joint venture that is the percentage of share it own of other firms the firm recognizes the that portion of other firms income expenses assets liability which it own in that firm for example if a firm owns 40% of shares in b that a will recognize only 40% from firm b while combining the financial statements uh, calculation of non controlling interest is not done in case of uh, uh, pcm that is uh, under this method because we do not have the influential control or a full control over the full control over the uh, subsidiary or the other firm looking into the excel exam excel example <clears throat> these are the figures of uh, two entities that is micro and mini limited and uh, the additional information is purchase 40% share in mini limited that is the percentage of share is 40% and uh, goods sold worth rupees 10000 to micro limited with profit with 10% profit in it that is a uh, mini limited has sold uh, some certain goods to micro limited with a including 10% profit so we have to deduct uh, this uh, profit element from our uh, pro retain earning to present it in a combined uh, consolidation statement so first we will uh, and uh, pre retain earning is 4000 is also given so we have to bifurcate between pre and post so, so first we will do that so the total retained earning of uh, mini limited is uh, 7000 pre acquisition is 4000 so post acquisition will be 3000 so while calculation of goodwill so we have taken the investment amount that is 25000 nci is not here because uh, not calculated in its method of consolidation because we have not uh, we have less than 50 percent proportion uh, in it so and similarly for the share capital out of the total share capital of 35,000 we have considered here only 40 percent because we own 40 percent shares in mini limited and similarly out of the pre-acquisition profit of 4,000 we have considered here only 40 percent for the purpose of calculation of goodwill so it comes so our goodwill comes to 9400 which we will add here similarly the unrealized profit we will calculate as uh, the profit we have to deduct it so the sale value is 11,000 good sold so the sale value is here 10,000 sorry uh, sorry the sale value here is 11,000 I will not return it properly so the sale value is here uh, 11,000 out of which a 10% profit is included in it so the cost of it will come to 10,000 rupees so the profit charge is 1000 so the profit charge by mini limited is 1000 which we will deduct from the total earning and the retained earning of mini limited so the retained earning is here parent retained earning is here 15000 we will add the post acquisition sh share at the rate of 40 percent 1200 rupees gain on uh, gain on sale of a city that is unrealized profit we can Say unrealized profit. We are FIT, so it comes to one thousand rupees. So our retained earning comes to fifteen thousand five hundred. So we will put this figure here fifteen thousand 
500 so similarly we will have to deduct this amount from the inventory value total inventory value so the uh, inventory value of micro limited is 30000 and subsidiary value subsidiary means they are mini limited so we will consider 40 percent amount of it so out of 15,000 40 percent share is 6,000 and less the profit which we have charged from micro limited this we will deduct so it comes to 35,000 so our revised consolidated inventory value comes to 35,000 and uh, for others we will simply add the assets and liability with our 40 percent share so total 20,000 plus 40 percent share of mini limited equipment investment as we know we ignore it we received this amount through working below and for similarly for investment we will take investment of micro limited share capital of micro limited retain earning we have calculated not applicable non-controlling interest here and similarly for liabilities we will consider that is 25,000 plus 40 percent of 8,000 it comes to 28,400 so this makes our balance sheet balanced 1 lakh 23,400 1 lakh 23,400 so we have calculated this figure basis the proportional method out of which in which we have taken our share that is 40 percent basis 40 percent share we have calculated the asset liabilities here and uh, deducted the profit which mini limited has earned from micro limited from our working to arrive at the fair picture of our consolidated statement hope you find this session useful thank you